A little aside about 404 Motorsports. I actually knew a guy in Detroit who had a car with a 404 Motorsports plate, and he was acting all weirded out about it. And then he got, he got rid of the plate, and I think he got rid of the car. And 404 Motorsports was on Cheshire Bridge Road and sold luxury cars, including some of the Ferraris and Lambos seen in famous BMF videos, uh, music videos like uh, uh, Blue Da Vinci and uh, Fabulous. And one of BMF's innovations was using, using luxury cars and limos to smuggle the dope. So even if Kiki Graham didn't per se move any drugs with BMF, his business, some of the cars he facilitated were used in smuggling. Quote, in the first couple of months, we did great business at the store and everything was going good, said Scott King, who received a 24-year prison term in exchange for cooperation in the eventual drug case. And then things started taking a turn for the worse, but we wanted to keep the business afloat because of the nature of the business in Atlanta and we wanted to keep people thinking we were great businessmen. At this point, court records show Graham's ring had accumulated already 10 million in profits. This money, prosecutors say, fueled a streak of acquisitions for the new, uh, for Graham and his new wife, the, 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 the $650,000 house in Cobb County, bunch of cars, and Graham was traveling regularly to California to oversee drug shipments to Atlanta, and they were getting ready to move there but then, in late 02, Greenville, South Carolina police and the DEA launched an investigation into a local Greenville, South Carolina dealer named Baron Johnson. Within a year, they had a wire up on Baron Johnson's phone. Agents listening in learned that Johnson was getting his coke from Atlanta from a supplier named Scott King, his business partner, 404 Motorsports. Needless to say, it was about to get all bad for Tremaine Graham. Small town big shot, Baron Johnson was the first domino to fall when he, along with several of his Greenville, South Carolina associates, were indicted under seal in December of 03. Johnson was quickly apprehended. It didn't take long for investigators to convince him to talk. He arranged a four kilo buy uh, from Scott King, and King sent one of the runners to Greenville as he'd done countless times before. Uh, January 21st, 04, King's Courier, the Ulysses Hackett guy I mentioned earlier, he shows up with the four bricks. The police were waiting, and they pulled the kilos out of an elect elaborate electronic trap inside. They found another 10 kilos at the stash house, a bunch of cash stored in underground safes. The feds were able to, I guess, look at the serial numbers of the safes and find the locksmith who'd uh, installed them, and he said, oh, a guy named Tremaine Graham paid for these. And Graham's name was on the lease for one of the houses, and then they, the investigators were like, okay, this Baron Johnson got cops from Scott King, and this guy Tremaine Graham ordered the safes, and oh, Tremaine Graham and Scott King own 404 Motorsports together. So just like that, you know, it's hard, once they start looking at you, it's hard to hide the connections that people have. So they knew these two guys were together and they figure out what they were doing. 